Uh, we're gonna be doing a video today about organizing your loot. Uh, and basically what I want this script to do is I wanna take this loot out of my bag and put it into my chest. Uh, normally how you would do this using a restock agent. The problem with the restock agent is it's gonna grab anything of that type. Uh, so for example, if I had some leather armor in my bag and I also had a leather armor in unidentified, it would move both with the restock agent. So let's write a script to not move both and only move the unidentified items. The complete scripts will be in GitHub, so be sure to check out the description. It'll also be in the pinned comment below. How do you even get started? Uh, first, let's make sure we have some loot, and hopefully your runs look just like mine, where you just have nothing but awesome unidentified items, you know, scrolls, all that good stuff. Today we're only going to cover unidentified items. What we're going to want to do is start by making a new script on the scripts tab next to macros. Macros are dead. Don't use those anymore. Just because we're playing a game from 1997 doesn't mean we need to use the functionality of 97. <laughs> so let's click down here, say new. We'll name the script organize. Now I want to start by using find type to make sure that we have a particular item in our bag. We can do this by using greater than info in game to get the name or ID. For the purpose of this organizer script, I'm gonna stick with using IDs. Let's start with these drums I have. You can see that the ID is 3740. Just right click here and say open in popout script editor. That will make it bigger so we can actually see what we're doing here. And we're gonna say if find type 3740 backpack as item, overhead item, and if. And if I save and I play this, now it puts the ID. As is a new operator available on Outlands, and it will assign the found item serial ID to a variable that we can use within our scripts. And now that we have that ID, we'll use another new command called get label. What we'll do is we set type get label, item, description, and then overhead, description, and we'll give it a color of 88. If I save and play that, we can see that it's an unidentified drum. We're making great progress. The next thing we can do is check to see if the item description contains unidentified using another new operator in Outlands called in. So what we'll do is we'll say if unidentified in description overhead item found to move and if. And if we save and play that, it correctly outputs the items to move. So if an item is unidentified, we know that we can move it into our bank or our house. So let's create a variable for where we're gonna store our unidentified loot using set var. So at the beginning of the script, we'll say, if not var exist, my loot to ID bag, set var, my loot to ID bag, and if. If not var exists in the variable that we're gonna set, make sure that we only run it once. Next, we're gonna change our overhead message here to lift and drop the item. So what we'll do is we'll do lift item, wait 250 milliseconds, and then drop my loot to ID bag, negative one, negative one, negative one. And if I save, lift requires a serial ID, which is our item, and drop requires a layer or a serial of a container, plus the coordinates of where we wanna drop it. I'm using negative one for each of these to replicate the behavior of just dragging the item onto the actual box, similar to that. If we run this script, we should see it go in our box. Let's double check, play, select the box right out there. All right, and it correctly moved the item. Okay, great, so the basic template is working, and so far it's only checking one item. So let's expand on that. To make sure we can check multiple items, let's introduce a list. Lists are potentially cached, so while we make our list, let's remove it first to make sure it gets cleared. Let's go back to our script, up to the top, and say remove list, loot items, create list, loot items, and push list, loot items, 3740. What we've done is we made a list containing one item, 3740, which are the drums. Now let's update the script to use the list instead of just the one item. We'll use a for each loot in loop items and then replace the 3740 with loot. So we'll type that here, for each loot in loot items. If find type loot, and don't forget the end or at the end. All right, I'm gonna put this back in our bag just so we have something to test with. Say play. If you notice, we actually found a problem. If we have two items of the same type, it's only moving one item. Let's update the script to make sure it moves all of them. We'll replace the if statement with whiles. While, find type, loot, and then end while. We save and play this. Let's try it again. Put that back. We correctly moved both drums into our bag. Now that it's moving all the same types, let's add another item to the list. 
Uh, we can use an unidentified spellbook here. Again, we can do greater than info on the book. The ID is 3834. Let's add that to our list. List 3834. Save and play. It looks like we found another problem. Since our while loop is checking for item types, if we find an item type in our bag that doesn't get moved at all, it will get stuck. Let's make sure that we add any already identified items to an ignore list so that we don't get stuck. Stop the script and we'll come down to if unidentified and then we'll say else ignore item and wait a quarter of a second. Now let's move this loop back in our bag and run it again and play. All right, it correctly stopped after it found our spell book. And let's run it one more time, just to make sure that it doesn't hit our spell book again, now that it's on the ignore list. Great. It looks like we're correctly ignoring the items. Well, let's add a few more items. Greater than info on uh, late mail legs. Copy the ID, and we'll copy and paste that. We'll do one more, the mail arm. All right, correctly moves those. All right, but wait. How am I going to add all these items to the list? Uh, that's up to you. You can slowly add items to your list as you play, uh, just like we're doing here in the script. Or you can use one of my pre-generated lists over in GitHub. I went through some of the source code and took out all the item IDs that I think will be cover uh, all items. The problem with the whole list is the organizer is a bit slow, so I recommend you just edit your own list as you find loot to keep it clean. The other thing that we're gonna add here is just a little system message output so we can see what item is being looped. If I say system message loot, if I play this, it will correctly show us what, what item is being looped. All right, now that we created our own script, I just wanted to show you what the advanced script would look like if you wanted to use the pre-generated list. Uh, if you go to my GitHub and you go to utility, and then there's gonna be an organization folder and there is the move identified items basic template. That's the one we just created. Uh, but there's also gonna be move unidentified items advanced. And again, this, this is a huge list of items, so it may be too slow for your needs. It's gonna, it might be hitting a lot of items that aren't even on this server or, you know, um, and it says it's generating the item list, please wait. This needs to run once you create all these items. Uh, and now it's gonna, where am I gonna store them? Like the same box. And it's looping the items. Finding the items, as you can see, it's outputting this loop. I found some gloves that we don't need to move. All done. See, wait, there's more. And then if I had Slayer wand, I guess Slayers weren't on my list. Oh, and same thing with the martial art manual. Move that as well. Anyway, going back to, is that light item list too long? Probably. So there's going to be a sweet spot in between using restock agents and then using a grab unidentified item script. So really your base script to loop unidentified items only needs to contain items that you don't want to move via a restock agent. Things like spell books, potentially leather armor, like whatever you equip with your character each time you go back to your home, make sure that those items are what's on your unidentified loop list. And then you can just continue to use a restock agent for everything else. We'll cover that in another video. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. I got some links at the end here. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Hit the subscribe on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you need some extra help, head over to Patreon. Hit me up there. Uh, we also have all these scripts in GitHub. I'm gonna continue to add there. I was also on a podcast, Vassarel Poor with Mustache Gaming. Be sure to check that out. Also have a Discord channel. All these links will be in the description. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'm not somebody you used to know. I'm back. Peace.